All right, Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Bah Hashem, Raka Kodash. I want to give double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom, and salute to the hopefully elect for the least to the great, to the greatest. So, um, yeah, this video is going to be about this, uh, the uh, video I got from um, Rawala Yasharala Yahweh. You know, brother do some good videos. Um, but uh, I want to um, land back off of uh, this video because um, we've been bringing out a lot of uh, history, you know, containing to Esau's lies, showing you that our people, you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true biblical Israelites, but you want to cling on to uh, these devils, Esau, because they're in the power seat right now. And that's kind of understandable, being that a lot of us grew up looking up to this devil, you know, because all of us been been blinded at one point in time. But the reason why uh, we come out of that is because the Lord had mercy on us and woke us up to this truth. And the when you look back at it, it makes you mad, but... It's only but so much you can get mad because that was the Heavenly Father's doings. And we got to turn the eye, look back at ourselves like, damn, what did we do in our past lives or uh, that pissed the Heavenly Father off to make him want to do that, you know? And we all know that the Heavenly Father and the Son is righteous. So we, were, we went off. And it's for our benefit because I know uh, the elder, uh, elder, uh, usually bring this out uh he always uh you know the elder of baltimore great brother great elder he always bring this out he said imagine if we got the kingdom now or imagine if we the lord the most high would have just gave us the kingdom we wouldn't we wouldn't appreciate it because we wouldn't know what um bad is we were all we would just all have good 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 and that probably would make us rotten to the core hence the reason why the heavenly father not so much in our lifetime but our lifetimes before that and before that and before that because our spirit you see our spirit been through all these incarnations and reincarnations to where as though when a when the heavenly father do put us in the kingdom he gonna he gonna uh, allow us to remember all those incarnations those reincarnations we're going to get all that back. We're going to know who we went went over this at camp. We're going to know who John the Baptist is, Elijah, which we already have a clue. We're going to know, all. hey, the Lord is going to open our eyes up, and we're going to understand why uh, we're going to get the kingdom, why the Lord did that to, to us, you know, um, why the Heavenly Father put us through trials and error, you know. We understand why. But we're going to know the whole thing more. The scriptures say, uh, you know, he'll guide us, you know, on our walk. He's going to guide us. Um, so a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of things about this world, we, it's not beneficial for us to know it now. You see, he's going to get, we're going to know that in due time, but the, our spirits ain't ready for certain things yet that the Lord going to reveal to us. You know, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the. I'm laying back and offer this brother video. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and play it, and then I'm gonna bring out the scriptures. Charles II, the Black King of the British Isles. Charles II was, in the popular language of the day, a tall black man, a whitewashed illustration of King Charles. Look at that. Look at that. See, that's a damn shame. So a lot of you black Americans, now a lot of you black Americans are um, Native American, you know, because they try to whitewash. I'm considered Native American from the tribe of Gad. A lot of you black Americans are Judites or Reuben. You see, because a lot of uh, Judah came over here with the northern tribes. You see? A lot of you um, brothers are straight up Gadites or straight up Reubenites. You see? 
They want to make it seem like all the Native Americans were of light skin with, um, what is it, straight hair. No. If you look at me, I could pass, I could pass for Judah. I ain't got the big beard and all that, but I got somewhat, you know, facial hair, but I got the, the you know, the Judite look, the dark skin, you know, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the nose, you know, the woolly hair. Yeah. So I grew up thinking I was, when I, when you first come into truth, you just think you black American. Like you just look at the sound, like, look, I'm Judah, but you know, some of us probably are Judah. You know, we just don't know uh, to to the point right the specific. But through the spirit, you know, we know what trials we from. If the spirit of uh, guides will tell you, you know. But the same black Americans that's over here now, they were over in Europe ruling. You see, and they can't, and they can no longer Esau can no longer hide uh, these this the truth. So let me get the scripture before I play play it again. I don't want to. Let me get the scripture. All right, here we go. This is John chapter 8, verse 44. It says, and this was Yahweh Shah, actually. This scripture goes back. It's talking about Esau as well. Because a lot of these scriptures, they can go twofold or threefold. Um, But I believe this was Yahweh Shah. He was talking to these Israelites back then, you know? Saying that you of Esau, so it, it, here is it says it says, you are your, uh, you of are your father the devil. Who is the devil? Esau, you know, uh, uh, referring to Malachi chapter one. It says, uh, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. What happened in the beginning? We can go all the way back to uh, Cain and Abel. You know, that the Cain spirit came back as Esau, right? That the heathenistic Cain spirit they killed this brother Abel that's what it's going to he said he was a murderer from the beginning and a lot of you Israelites are just like the so-called white man hey some of you might even be Edomites just chocolate cover ones you know the way you, uh, a lot of these jakes be out here acting man they didn't picked up all the Esau swag all the way down to his movements you know they get corrupt they get the women when they get in the corporate world. They talk just like the white woman. Sometimes if you're on your phone, I could always tell though. A lot of just always tell. But you could tell they put on that phony uh, voice. Oh, how you doing? Talking like a Becky. But you know it's a black woman, but she's trying to sound like the white woman. Mimicking all the way down to the crew. Even the hair. They put the little wig in. Try to walk and talk like the white woman. All that. You know? You you could you know they faking. You know, it just looked ridiculous, but Esau is ruling, so everybody looks up to Esau because that's where you got to go to get your bread at. That's where you go to get your money at. And people and um, women understand that from a young younger age. Men too, but women they look at because they're they looking to for somebody to lead. So they see these Edomites in rulership. So they say, "Oh, I want to be like that." And they might even get with a, a Edomite husband and all that. You know. They, that's how I'm just trying to connect it, show you how Jake is so um, infatuated with this devil. Um, our people are gone, you know, they, they totally Americanized, you know, and the Heavenly Father did it that way, only for you to be destroyed, because a lot of you people ain't going to wake up. You ain't going to wake up out of this foolishness. You ain't going to wake up out of that spell, you know. When I was coming up, I came up uh, around... You know, my mother, my uh, parents, my mother and father, my father and mother were Jehovah's Witnesses uh, for a while. And they were, uh, we would go to the Kingdom Hall and stuff like that sometime. And just seeing how, uh, you know, Jake, you got some decent people there, though. I, I mean, I'm not even going to, uh, you know, because Jake, a lot of them didn't know. You know, the Lord didn't give it to, uh, a lot of them, you know, but. Even if even if certain people are just uh, flat out decent people, the Lord's still going to destroy them, you know, because it's, it's all about the elect. Now, if some of them come out of that and they wake up to the truth, hey, uh, that's that'd be uh, uh, beautiful, you know, but 
you had a lot of decent Jake that's fully committed to the to the uh to the uh Jehovah's Witness uh organization. And some of the stuff they be saying is right. You know, far as not following the holidays and you know, they got some of it right. But guess what? The Lord blinded them. Guess what? Because he didn't want that. You know? He didn't want that. It's the ones that he uh took that spell off and said, Look, I want you, I chose you. Because what the scriptures say, I you have not chosen me, I have chosen you. You know? So it says, he was a murderer from the beginning, going back to Cain, and abide not in truth. Here it is. Because there is no truth in him. So how, what, what are you people talking about how you can think Esau can be saved? I don't understand you. If the Heavenly Father created this devil to be the devil, then he's going to be the devil. Ain't no, ain't nothing you can do to um, change the Heavenly Father's mind. You know, this devil been the devil from the beginning. And I'm going to go back to the video because that's some devilish shit. You know, here it is. You had black men ruling during Europe. You going to paint the faces white and pit them up like you was that. When knowing you wasn't that, you know, but of course the devil going to do that because he want his people, he don't want his people, us to have any pride in ourselves because we in captivity and he wants us to be good, good slaves. So what you do, and that's smart. What you do when you want good slaves, make them think that they want nothing. And then, uh, so you saw, he did a good job. He did a good job. It says, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. All right. So that's that's the main scripture that I want to get. That I wanted to get. Just he's a liar. Let's go back to the video. Statues of King Charles with the nose broken off. See, look, only a devil would do that. You know? See, in the kingdom, we ain't going to have to do all that. You know? We ain't gonna have to do all that. Now, if we want to, to see, see, we all in truth, we, we gonna be straight up truthful. You see, Esau is that devil. We ain't gonna have to lie or cut no corners. You know, we ain't gonna have to do none of that in the kingdom. All right. But the devil did that to deceive you. Here it is. They, that brother had a wide nose or a regular nose. You have one of them skinny nose you need for the cave. Now, this, you know, certain brothers have skinny nose and poor. See, Esau don't, that's what they want you to believe that Esau own certain uh, features. Jake, uh, we the form of all things. So we had those features even before Esau. But Esau does have his unique look. But you got Jake. I got a brother. His nose pointy as hell. But I got a wide nose. Is his nose better than mine? No. It's, that's how the how heavy father operate. But he could mind fuck you and mind trick you to make it uh, certain things think that is better. Like for his complexion. All right. Jake got a different complexion, a darker complexion for the most part than e Edomites or Esau. Is dark bad? No, because it protects you from the sun. And plus it's beautiful. It's royalty. Now, they try to depict it as bad because everything in this society, they connect darkness or being dark skin or dark brown with being poor and broke, dirty, stinky, nasty, whatever. And they mind fuck you when you're growing up to where as though you thinking, hence the reason why a lot of uh, our women, our black women, have self-hate issues. They want to get with the lightest uh guy that they can get with or or even a white guy because they look at it as a come up which in a society sometimes it is you see but all that's going to come to an end all this this bullshit this this spell that Esau got on us you see uh wanting uh lighter babies and so you can get ahead in this society all that shit going to come to an end you know, all that self-hate shit, uh, die, uh, what do they call it? Uh, straightening out your hair and all that. I often tell brothers, if, if you think about it, if you read, it, read, read the scriptures, it, the reason why uh, black women, can, their hair don't grow is because of the, uh, the length. 
You see, but all hair, if you look at the hair, hair texture, all of it's beautiful. I'm talking about so-called black, uh, neg so-called Negro looking hair or coarse hair. If it grew out, you could do plenty of things with it. Look at uh, as articulate as black women are. You could do a lot of hairstyles with coarse hair, but you can't do that with um, with uh, that stringy hair. Now, if that hair, if the co our coarse hair grew like it did in the past, Absalom, he, he had woolly hair, but his hair grew. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, uh, if the if their hair grew long, it don't have to be straight and stringy like a dog hair, like Esau got. It could still be coarse, but the Heavenly Father took away the growth, the length. That's why he said bald. Because the Heavenly Father has woolly hair. Yahweh Shai had woolly hair. But it grew. So black women don't understand that woolly hair is beautiful. But the Heavenly Father just took away the length. He made it short. Hence the reason why people think that woolly uh, or coarse hair is bad. Because it don't grow. If the damn hair grew, you would look at it as, wow, that. That's a healthy uh, uh, batch of hair right there. Because it grew. Absalom used to have to cut his, course, cut his hair every year. And he still, and it, it was so much hair, it, it weighed. You see? So there's nothing wrong with having woolly or coarse hair. Or, or nappy hair, what they call nappy. Uh, they look at it, it, the Heavenly Father made it that way because he cut off the growth. Because of what, uh, the curse he put on black women. Now, when he take that, lift that curse up off a black woman, their hair is going to grow long down to their back. And it's going to be woolly and it's going to be curly. And some of them going, and they all still going to have different textures. But all of that hair going to grow. And they're going to braid it, do whatever they want with it. All right. So I hope brothers had that understanding. Hotels and pubs named the black. See, back then. It looked like he had uh, woolly hair, but it grew. We was uh, closer, you know, to our um, our rulership. Boy in honor of King Charles. All of which have black children being represented. And back then it was good to be dark. But now they look at it as, as a curse because they connect being dark with, uh, with uh, you know, everything bad under the sun. Um. Hey, I can even go to, we We was in Genesis the other weeks and we was uh, talking about Joseph and Egypt and all that. You think them damn Hamites is fucking grimy as they be looking and all that? You know all them women was on them head because back then they was connecting that look with royalty because the Egyptians, those Hamites were over us. So back then it was a thing to look dark. Because they were ruling. But Esau's ruling. So they connect everything with their look. Hence the reason why everybody want to look like Esau. But back then in those Egyptian times. When we. Before we grew to be a big nation. Everybody wanted to be. Look like a damn Egyptian. You know. If that was the look. That was the thing. To be an Egyptian. To be dark. You know. To look like a damn Hamite. Which. That went out. Because. The Lord. Put a curse on those Hamites for doing it, cruddy shit to us, you know. But the Lord put a difference between us and those Hamites. That's why you look at Jake, we glow. Our darks can glow. Theirs, it, it's just different. <laughs> I'm going to just say that. King Charles was nicknamed the Black Boy by his mother because of his very dark complexion. Prince James of Wales, the nephew of King Charles. The Avenue. See, because you how was was real dark you know a lot of israelites like we we come in all shape shades from a dark uh hue or dark dark brown hue like i myself all the way to a light light hue brown you know all the way to a drape you know or lighter even uh esau looking like you know we got all flavors and texture but um, a lot of Israelites, he had a unique look, Yahweh Shai. He was dark, dark. 
You know, that's how we, somebody look like a shy or some, um, a dark a Jacob be named, uh, black or, you know what I, you know what I'm saying? Chocolate or, you know what I'm saying? It was just a, 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 a unique texture. Let's go. Burmese chronicler describes James as of light brown complexion. See, that's the spirit. See, that's the spirit. From dark, dark brown to light brown complexion, see? And they always used to try to make, like, um, we believe Prince was a Mozart in his past life. He may have been light, light brown skin in his past life, you see? But they'll make that, they'll make him white. You see what I'm saying? A whitewashed illustration of Prince James of Wales. So there you go. That was, that was a good video the brother did. So Lord Willingness is edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Bah Hashem Rukar Kadash. Till again, Shalom.